All right, it is March 24th, and it's time to start getting my boat ready for the summer. Uh, it's kind of a nice day, 50 degrees, overcast. Uh, here's the boat. For the big question, what project do I start with? Uh, maybe we'll start taking the covers off today. Maybe I got some on off. We can start taking off this this scum line. That'd be a good project for today. All right, let's see how far we get with this. All right, this is why everything takes forever around here. I'll show you. Okay, so my project is to clean the scum line on the boat, which is this kind of filmy stuff. Some places it gets real hard. The project I use to do it, ugh, which is on and off. So, something so simple takes hours because and I get your bucket, your on off, then next thing is to find a hose, two hoses because there's no running water. So lay this hose out, untangle it, follow it all the way back, under, around. <laughs> all right, got second hose, found that, got that untangled. Then I get the pump. There's the pump. Untangle this mess. Plug the pump in. I think over here there's power. Yep. Plug the pump in. And hope I have enough water to do the simple task of cleaning the scum line, which will take me literally 10 or 15 minutes. But <laughs> it's an hour of setup. And I set up action camera because I'll record me actually doing it and this on off stuff is pretty nasty I don't want the good camera anywhere around while I do this project so I've got this little Intova camera and check this out tripod I got from Goodwill $12.99 kind of nice all right so let's plug it all in see if it works all right, using on off. Uh, the first thing, pour just a little bit of on off in a five gallon bucket, maybe one to two inches deep. I don't use that much of it. This is a very strong product. Even dilute it, it works pretty well. Second thing, very important, wear safety glasses. You do not want this getting in your eyes. It drips everywhere, as you will see. Splashes everywhere. It might get on your face and it will burn. All right, notice as soon as I wipe it on the scum line, it foams. That, that white foaminess that you see for like a second is the scum line dissolving. Notice it's also dissolving my prop. Keep it off any metals. It'll destroy your metals pretty quick. Uh, it says that right on the bottle. Don't use it with any metals. It doesn't seem to react with gel coat or plastics or anything like that, but anything metal, it just destroys. So... Uh, just one quick wipe on and and maybe go over it one more time and then rinse it. Rinse it really good because like most people, most bottom paint, there's copper in the bottom paint and it will start to react with the bottom paint and dissolve the bottom paint. This is why I always do this before I apply the bottom paint. The first thing I do in the spring is to remove the scum line with on off then do the bottom paint uh, if you don't do the bottom paint every year I probably wouldn't use this product if you have any type of bottom paint that has metal or copper in it so um, I, don't know. I don't know if you really need to do this every year this stuff pretty much eats through everything so quickly you know even after several years of buildup it just it just really eats through the scum line fast all right, I got a little bit of growth down here. I'm going to wipe it on. Notice how the drips, they get on my metals, or they will. They'll get on my, uh, that strut. Yep, see how all the metals just immediately turn white. That's, that's the product reacting with the metal. Keep, yep, wash it off the metal right away. It just is not good for metals, but it will happen. If you're going to use this product, it's going to get on your metals, so... Rinse it, rinse it, rinse it, and rinse it. Yep, there we go.
Okay, so it's pretty much the same process for the front of the boat. Just wipe it on, give it a good once or over, maybe twice over, and then rinse it off. I don't have a lot of on off left in the bucket. I just, you know, that's why I'm tilting, tilting the bucket. The on off is getting pretty diluted. It's getting mixed with the metals and the paint that gets stuck in the brush, but it's still working great. There's not much of a scum line on the front of the boat, so I really don't need that much. Again, just once on, real quick, maybe brush it, go over it again real quick, and then rinse it off. Again, the most important step is rinsing. Just rinse it really well. Just I go over it once quick with the hose, and then spend a lot of time you know, rinsing as much as I can. I really don't think you can rinse this stuff too much. Got the scum line off. Uh, using on off, everything's finally put away, dry. Uh, take a look. So, I don't know how much the camera will pick up, but now this is all smooth. It's a little dull, but there's no more of that uh, that stuff on it. And once I wax it, it'll be real shiny again, but the whole thing turned out great. Like I said, just on off, just wipe it on. It foams up and within seconds. Within seconds, you just rinse it off. And most of what you do is rinse, 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 rinse. But yeah, this looks great. I don't see any, besides just some dull spots, which will just need to be waxed. There's no algae, no growth, no nothing on it. This is usually the part that gets it the worst. It's right through here, and there's like, this is totally 100% smooth. Uh, next step, next step will be to do the hull. We'll, we'll sand it, scuff it, acetone it, paint it. Then we'll start on the top sides. Uh, we got a wash, buff, wash, wax. This should look real good. You can see now, now if the can yeah, the camera kind of picks it up. You can see these, they look like water marks. The water's been running down the side. That's actually just, the wax does that for some reason. You buff those out. Yeah, you can see the effect. These marks, once you buff it out, Go away. Actually, I think those will go away as soon as you remove the wax. I don't know why this wax does that. But I'm trying a new type of wax this year. Just bought it, so we'll see. Alright, enough for now. Bye.